Uh, greetings there, Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, shall, but shall have the light of life. I'm going to give you a few quotes by, uh, let's see, what was his name? Mordecai Levi, also known as, a.k.a. Karl Marx. His family owned, if I'm going from memory, his family owned a textile mill or factory, textiles or clothing. You notice they're never, they never are farmers, never grow food. I think the curse of Cain, but hey, what do I know? I think it's funny that there's only one group of people on the face of this earth that are never, ever, ever farmers. And then you tell people about the curse of Cain in Genesis 4, and then people deny it. And they say, oh, that can't be true. No, that can't be true. Well, let them grow their own food. Let's see if it is true. Let's see if God's word is true, the, the curse of Cain. But he said, the theory of communism may be summed up in one sentence. Abolish all private property. Hmm. Sounds like the World Economic Forum's Great Reset, doesn't it? You'll own nothing and be happy. And guess what? They're all part of the same tribe. All of them. Karl Marx was from a long line of, his family was from a long, 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 long line of rabbis. And if you look into who Karl Schwab's family is, uh, well, let's just say banking. Yeah, the preeminent banking family of Europe. So... Karl Marx said, if you cut, uh, if you can cut the people off from their history, they can be easily persuaded. Cut them off from their history. Hmm. Is that why they're rewriting all the history books, destroying all the statues of those that, uh, I don't know, made history? Yeah. Yep, uh, all the media, all the Western countries are doing the same thing. I mean, they're just, you know, uh, I've read a thing recently where it said that King James, you know, who gave us the King James Bible, I mean, he didn't translate it, but he assembled the scholars, helped assemble the scholars together, and he financed, you know, paid them to... Uh, work on it for however many years they worked on it. But they claim that he was black. And that the, you know, the this pictures of him are all whitewashed. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, like the Confederate statues, they're all racist, right? So they're tearing down the Confederate statues and other statues and, you know, what have you. Um, yeah, it makes you wonder. And uh, <laughs> Karl Marx said, communism begins where atheism begins. Isn't it funny? When I was in elementary school, first grade, we used to have prayer in Jesus' name and Bible reading in the public schools and then it was re, um, removed by the so-called Supreme Court that said uh, you know it'll warp warp those poor children's minds yeah communism begins where atheism begins yeah and that's where the 60s was where this country went really downhill fast I mean, fast. 1964 is when they removed the silver. Well, it was the last year we had silver coins. Back when you could get a candy bar for a nickel. 
back when you could get a Burger King Whopper for about 35 cents, and they were big. I mean, a Whopper was a meal. It was a big burger. So, yeah. Gas was like a quarter a gallon. I'm not even sure if it was that much. It might have been like 22.9 or something like that. I'm not sure. Three Tootsie Rolls for a penny. We had the dollar stores used to be called the five and dime stores. Perhaps you've heard of Woolworths. I have. So, and then you got the World Economic Forum. You know, those guys. So Karl Marx said the theory of communism may be summed up in one sentence, abolish all private property. Oh yeah. Yep. That's that sums it up. And you know the uh devils behind all this mess. They don't want a statue of Robert E. Lee up. From what I understand, he never owned slaves. But like the uh meme says, they're okay of a statue of Satan with children, but <laughs> they don't like confederate statues what does that tell you oh all right all the confederate statues are of white people but they're okay with with satan well a depiction of satan i'll guarantee you satan doesn't look like that but yeah oh well what are you gonna do oh well you'll own nothing and you'll be happy or else well, you know, the Bible tells you that there would be a, the beast would uh, tread down the whole world. Well, it's coming true. So this is what happens when you get a nations and people who forget the Lord God that had blessed them and, you know, back in the, uh, the days of Samuel, the people said, give us a king. And God told Samuel, well, they haven't rejected you. They've rejected me that I should rule over them. That's kind of a paraphrase, but you get the general idea. They didn't want the Lord as king. They wanted an earthly ruler. And the Lord gave them what they wanted. So, here you go. All blessing, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.